Hey guys, I finally made some headway on my Berserk Fuhrer, or as I'm calling it, the Berserker Rex. And since it's been months since the last one and people have actually been asking about this build, I thought I'd do a quick work in progress. As you can see, I've pre-shaded and painted the armor and put the decals on, and I've done a test assembly so I can see where the weathering should go. Okay, so before I say anything else, I have to complain about a very well-known problem. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the last uh, work in progress video, but these, these ankle joints cannot hold this model up for shit. It's unbelievable. Like I've had him, I've had him standing up for like two minutes right now, uh, and he's already starting to lean. Anyway, um, as you can see, what I've done so far is I've done the uh, pre-shading on all of the armor. Um, uh, I've painted some of, uh, well, all of the detail right now that I think is going to be painted, which is all this gray stuff you can see here on the side, here on, uh, on the head, um, also, um, also on top of the head, uh, these fin things here on the tail and here, um, this I was originally and this is one of the things that actually sort of prevented me from from making progress. I was originally going to mask all this stuff um, and then airbrush it. And then I just decided basically that I couldn't be bothered. See, it's already collapsing again. I decided that I just couldn't be bothered uh, and just hand brushed it with uh, Mechanica Standard Gray from Citadel. And uh, honestly, I think once the gunk wash um, and, and all the other weathering is done, you're not going to know the difference. And, uh, it just, it took probably half as long as masking it would have taken me. Masking still would have resulted in mistakes. There's things like the inside of these, uh, these foot pieces here with these tubes. There's no way I could have done that with masking anyway. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with this just being hand brushed. Um, a couple other things like, you know, in some places like here, the detail showing uh, under the uh, under the armor works out really well. In other places, there's things that ended up being covered up, unfortunately. Um, you can also see here on the tail, um, I've got this post with uh, with these these um, armor uh, pieces here folded out for the moment. In other words, charging up the CPC because I think that's how I'm going to pose him in the end. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to fiddle with poses a bit. But uh, the thing is, I just kind of figure, you know, once these are closed, they're closed. Um, they're going to get scratched up to hell and back if I move them around too much. So uh, I'm not going to get too many shots at sort of trying out what this is going to look like. Um, also, you can see uh, the feet are basically naked at this point. Uh, that's because putting them together involves a lot of, you know, parts that I've painted gunmetal and parts that I've uh, painted white being stuck together. And um, I'm going to have to take all the white bits back off once I'm done uh, with the weathering that I'm still going to do to it. Um, so that I can matte coat them without getting the without getting the the matte top coat on the uh, on the glossy inner frame, and I'm already worried about the, about all the breakage that's going to happen when I do this. Like these these head armor pieces, man. <sighs> I'm gonna need some thoughts and prayers when I start working on that. Um, what else can I show you? There isn't really all that much else. Um, the one thing that I kind of um, is, is kind of new for me is that the I don't know how obvious this is going to be on camera because this kid is white and that's um, uh, that's always a problem for cell phone cameras. But the the pre-shading I did here along all these edges is probably the starkest that I've ever done. It's pretty intense. Um, and I got to be honest, I like the way it came out. Like when you look at the individual pieces, uh, it looks like it's too intense, but it actually isn't. Um, and also uh, this thing is still going to get a gunk wash, which is probably going to knock back the white a little and just, you know, make it lose a bit of contrast of anything. Uh, which brings me to what I'm still going to do to this. Um, I, I put the, uh, I put the armor pieces on because I want to do the chipping next. And I just kind of realized like I had no idea what was going where and, uh, what this was all going to look like. 
And so I just, I really needed to have the armor on to just have even the vaguest idea of, you know, where the chipping would have to go. I'm also going to do some dry brushed, like uh, heat streaking. There's a vent that's supposed to go here and thrusters here inside the leg. I'm going to do some heat streaking there. Uh, maybe some vertical rust and dirt streaking as well. Um, yeah, and that's it. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, of course, you know, the decals are on. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, once that's done, uh, that'll be it. Uh, then it gets another gloss coat and then a, uh, a gunk wash. Um, and then the armor's done. As you can see, I still need to, uh, I still need to do the caps. I haven't even started on those. Uh, I also haven't made any progress on sort of the kit bashing for the back. I'm going to try to do a mock-up of what that's going to look uh, like up here and take some pictures, but we'll see how that goes. For now, though, I just wanted to do a quick update, uh, as I probably already mentioned in the intro. Uh, this is where I am with the Berserk Fuhrer at the moment. Um, now that I finally put it together, I have to say it looks a lot cooler than I expected it to. Uh, so hopefully that's going to make me, maybe that's going to motivate me to, uh, to, you know, make some, make some progress in the coming months. Uh, but this is still, this is going to take a while still. Uh, there's a lot to do still, but I kind of feel like it's finally coming together. Well, the really good news for this video is I actually found a pose that the kit can hold. I don't know what I'm going to do about this yet. I'm making a display base for it either way, so I'll have to build some kind of support into it, probably with parts from a clear Gundam base or something. We'll see. Here's a close-up of the tail. Honestly, it doesn't really look all that impressive, so I'm not sure if I'm going with the exposed fins for the final pose. I also think it just looks a bit cluttery like this overall. We'll see. Plenty of time to think about that still. And finally, here's a mock-up with the Gatling gun on it. Clearly, I'll still need to do lots of work on the backpack to make this look acceptable, but I already like this better than the egg beaters. Anyway, that's it for this one. I'm starting the weathering tomorrow and including the gunk wash. I figure the armor should be done in 10 days, give or take. But I still need to do the caps and the clear parts and obviously figure out how I'm going to get the gun mounted on there. And I'm still thinking I want to scratch build a proper ammo belt for it, plus the display base. So I guess what I'm saying is don't hold your breath with this one. I'll be working on other stuff on the side though and I actually have a really cool Zoids build that's near completion so expect that to show up uh, soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my Patreon, you know how that goes, and I'll see you in the next one. Robo shop.